Question 1. What is 487 plus 289? We need to use column addition for this. 4, 8, 7 plus 2, 8, 9. First we look to the units column. 9 plus 7, that's 16. Since that's too big to go in a single digit, we need to put the 6 there and carry over the 1 into the tens column. Now let's do 8 plus 8 plus the 1. So 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, and the same again. 7 goes here, I'm going to carry over the extra 1 into the hundreds column. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7, and that's our answer, 776. Question 2. There are 25 sweets in a packet, and there are exactly 16 packets of sweets in a box. How many sweets are there in total in 11 boxes? We need to work out the answer to 25 multiplied by 16 multiplied by 11. This is quite complicated to do if we use our standard methods. However, we can take a shortcut. 25 multiplied by 4 is 100. So we see that here, 16 can be split up into 4 times 4. 25 times 4 times 4 times 11. Now let's do our multiplication in two parts. 25 times 4 is 100, and 4 times 11 is 44. This is a much easier sum than the, than the above. To multiply 44 by 100, we get 4,440. Question 3. What is 700 divided by 0 0.5? 700 divided by 0 0.5. To write this as a fraction will make it a lot simpler for us. So 700 divided by 5 over 10. If we divide by a fraction, we can also write that as multiplying by that same fraction, but the other way up. So that's 10 over 5. First, let's simplify this fraction. So 700 multiplied by 10 divided by 5, we know that's 2, so 700 times 2 is 1,400. Question 4. 10 students compete in a school quiz. 4 of the students earn 10 points each, 5 of the students earn 7 points each, and 1 student earned 12 points. How many points did the students earn in total? So, 4 students earn 10 points, that's 40. Five students earn seven points, which is 35, and one student, student earns 12 points. Finally, we just need to add these up. Zero plus five plus two is seven, and four plus three plus one is 87 points. Question five. A lab worker has 280 milliliter bottle of medicine ready for testing. The task is to carefully distribute the medicine into smaller test tubes. How many milliliters of the medicine is left in the bottle when the lab worker distributes the medicine to completely fill as many 17 milliliter tubes as possible? Here we need to divide 280 by 17 and find out the remainder. In order to do that, we're going to use our long division. 17 into 280. First we see, does 17 go into 2? No, it doesn't. So we put a zero here, and we look at 17s into 28. That goes in once, and then we'll take away 17 from 28. 28 minus 17, that's 11, and bring down the next digit to 110. Next, we need to see, does 17 go into 110? It does, but we don't know the multiple. In these cases where we've got a number where we don't know the times table easily, it's useful to write out the first few of the times table simply by doing addition. This is 17 times 1, 17 times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5, 6, and 7. So we can see that 17 goes into 110, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So we'll put a 6 there. Next, take away 102 from this. That leaves us with 8. Does 17 go into 8? No. 
So that's our remainder. 16 remainder 8. The answer then is 8 milliliters. Question 6. What is 33 multiplied by 47? So in order to do this, we're going to write these in a column. 33 times 47. First, let's multiply the units columns. 3 times 7, that's 21. Next, let's multiply this tens column by the units column here. Because we're multiplying a tens column by a units column, we need to stick in a zero first to notify that this is a ten. So 3 times 7, that's 21 again. Like we said, this was a tens column, that's 30 times 7, which is actually 210. Next, let's do the same for the units column here, multiplied by the tens column here. So 3 times 4, that's 12, and because we've got a tens column, there's an extra 0. Next, we're going to multiply two tens columns, so that's 30 times 40. Because we've got two tens columns now, we put in two zeros, 3 times 4 is 12. Finally, we need to add up these four numbers. So here we've got 1, 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 5 again, and 1, giving our answer of 1,551. Question 7. What is 3 divided by 11? Give your answer correct to two decimal places. To do this, we're going to use short division. So there's 11 on the outside, and here's 3 on the inside. We know this number is going to be less than 1 because we've got a fraction 3 over 11. So just to help us out, I'm going to put in the decimal places here, 3.0000, which is the same as 3. First, 11's into 3, so 3 divided by 11, that doesn't go. And we carry over our 3 to here. So 30 divided by 11, that goes twice at 22. So. We take our 30, take away the 22, which is 8, and that's our remainder to carry over. 80 divided by 11 is 77 with a remainder. So 77 is 7 lots of 11, and remainder 3. We need this to two decimal places, so we've got two decimal places so far. We just need to find this one here, just to make sure that it doesn't round up. Okay, so 30 divided by 11... We know from before that's 2, remainder 8. So our answer is 0 0.272, and then this will continue, but we don't need any more. 0 0.272, which are two decimal places, is just 0 0.27. Question 8. If there are 1,322 students in school A, 768 students in school B, and 580 students in school C, how many students are there in total across all three schools? Let's set up the column addition. So we've got 1, 3, 2, 2, plus 7, 6, 8, plus 5, 80. If we're going to add all these three together, we need to start at the units column. So 2 plus 8 plus 0, that's 10, which is too much to put in the units, so we need to put a 0 there and carry over at 1, 10 into the tens column. Now, 2 plus 8, that's 10, plus 6 plus 1 is 17. So, 7 here, and we carry over a 1 into the hundreds column. 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. So we have 6 and 1 to carry over. And finally, 1 plus 1 is 2, which gives our answer of 2,670. Question 9. A chef needs 2.2 litres of orange juice to make his famous dessert. How many 280 milliliter cartons of orange juice does the chef need to make his dessert? First, let's convert that 2.2 litres into milliliters. We know that there are 1,000 milliliters in a litre, so this is 2,200 milliliters. To find out how many cartons are required, we need to divide the total, 2,200, by 280. Let's simplify this fraction. So we can see that they both divide by 10, so that's 220 over 28. And then we can divide by 2, which is 110, divided by 14, 
And then again, we can divide by 2, which gives us 55 divided by 7. So we need to know how many times does 7 go into 55. We only need whole cartons, so we know that 7 lots of 7 is 49, and 8 lots of 7 is 56. 7 cartons will not be enough, that will give us 49, but 8 cartons will be enough, because 56 is greater than 55. So our answer has to be 8 cartons of orange juice. Question 10. The supplier has 1,790 components that he would like to put into boxes. If boxes can contain a maximum of 26 components, what is the minimum quantity of boxes that the supplier needs? So we need to divide 1,790 by 26. First I notice that both of these can be divided by 2, so we can make a simplification first. That's 895 over 13. We need to do the division 895 divided by 13, so let's use our long division. 13s into 895. 13 doesn't go into 8, so let's have a look at 13s into 89. To do this, it's useful to consider our 13 times table. Let's write that out here. 39, 52, 65, 78, and 91. That gives us enough to look at this. So, 13 is into 89, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 13. And let's take that away to find out the remainder. So 89 minus 78, that's 11. Next, bring down the 5. And we're going to have to add on a few more to our multiplication here. So it's 104. And the next one, it looks like it'll be too big, um, 117. So 13 into 115. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the remainder is 11. Remainder 11. So our answer is 68, remainder 11. We'll need to fit those 11 into one of the box. So our final answer has to be 69 boxes, with that last box not being quite full.